Hey everybody, welcome back to Northern Line Plays the Binding of Isaac Anti Birth. Uh, we've been crushing it in the last two runs, and by crushing it, I mean accidentally failing to go to the alternate path and messing everything up. Uh, MG1T AF0C, let's get this road on the show. Uh, we're playing as Isaac. Oh, we have a Tomo that wishes to enter the room. You must answer me these questions three, Tomo. First off, what sound does a cat make? That's correct. Okay. Hematomesis. Could be worse. Balls of steel. Very good. Um, we're playing as Isaac instead of just randoming because, quite honestly, I like the relative normalcy of Isaac. He's a character I, I'm comfortable with and can survive with, usually, for a certain length of time. Um, gives me a chance to see some new mechanics in a somewhat low-pressure environment. And we've gotten some unlikely and unusual and, and taxing wins lately, even if they haven't been via the you know, alternate win condition, or the, the new win condition, if you will, and... Yeah, I should have seen that one coming. That was a poor dodge. Either way, uh, the D6 also has a nice element of probably being able to see some new items, which is always nice. We might see... well, you probably see new items even without it, and we... don't really care as long as we don't see rocket bombs. I also just noticed, uh... I think I finally figured out what Leaky Pen does after having it maybe two or three times. Every, like, one in, maybe five or six shots seems to be a different color and, and probably has a status effect associated with it. So we had we have an arcade amount of money right now, which is important when you're Isaac, because, you know, starting with three HP, obvious... Oh, it's confusion, okay. Or, no, it's slowing. Or maybe it's a random status effect, but that one was definitely slowing. Um, we'll see, uh... We'll see if we can get that arcade, but it may not be possible. Tomo, you can't go up there, buddy! Tomo, you're a good friend, but you cannot go on top of the computer, causing it to overheat. It's like, we rearranged my room, because I got a, I used to have two monitors, now I have three monitors. So we're like, okay, we gotta, the, the desk isn't that big, we gotta get the desk taken off of it. Or, sorry, the, the computer taken off of it, so we put the computer on the ground, and we got rid of the box that Tomo slept in, and now he just keeps going up to the computer and being like, hey, what happened to my box? This is, like, much bigger than my box. This is where I sleep, but we'll just take little Brim. And he's very confused about the whole situation, but... I mean, there's another box, we, we put it in the corner, but he doesn't... He hasn't made the connection that box A, you know, is now moved. Tomo! It wouldn't be a Northern Lion episode without... Needless Tomos in the background. N not that Tomo himself is needless, but the... The shouting of the Tomo. Was it the shouting of the Tomo? Okay, Little Brim just, you know, made good tracks there. We'll take the weird pentagram. <laughs> just had a different, uh... Cue to it, different shader or something. Uh, and we'll use two bombs to go check for... Special secret rooms, and we struck out there. So I think we're just gonna leave, honestly. We'll take our key, go down to the downpour. Feeling pretty strong about the situation right now, and... Pretty much 100% chance to deal with the devil next time see what we can get here, but either way, right now we're off to a great start. 100% deal with the Devil Chance. I, I hope to keep that at 100, but I also sort of want to see what it dips to if we get hit once, to really see what the Pentagram has to offer us uh, in terms of deal with the Devil Chance. I thought it was a one-third increased chance per floor, or like one one-third increased chance relative to what the floor had given us as far as chances go to begin with. Did Little Brim get buffed or am I losing my mind here? Like, we're... We just went through this floor in, like, the space of a freaking second. Fight against the Rainmaker, who is actually quite annoying, uh, when you don't know how to fight against him, which I think fairly accurately describes me to a T right now, but we also destroyed him there. That's re-rollable. And in here... I mean, I think this is re-rollable as well. I actually think we want none of this at that cost. Even the ability to fly, a little pricey here. So we'll re-roll all of it. We got two hard bloody lust. Ugh. I'll take the crab juice. You may well disagree with my uh, my choice there. I took the quarter for a red heart. The idea being relatively cheap, and we can hopefully get some good value out of it. Like right off the bat, there's no key for sale, unfortunately. We got a you know a luck up, PhD. Um, starting to get some good stuff there. Hopefully we can get a key and go into our item room, but we're gonna re-roll, uh, the shot speed upgrade. If we can just get HP, I'd consider that, like, pretty awesome. That's, a uh, shot speed in tears. T 
Frontiers minus two, like in a good way though. I, I think that that's okay. Bloody Lust is tempting. I know what people are saying. They're saying, hey, idiot, go in there with the battery charge, take the razor blade, then take Bloody Lust, and then uh, re-roll the razor blade. Uh, you can't do it that way because it, it's the, it's the uh, rebirth style of item room. So we're, we're kind of trapped with respect to what we can take there. Because if we take, if we try to cheat the devil deal, the devil deal will get back at us. You bite the fry, the fry bites back, my man. We have to use our own bomb, but that's okay. We have to use our own bomb, though. We get two spirit hearts out of it. It's not like we were going to take Pandora's box moving on, so I think that's fair. And we will, we will take Bob's brain. I think uh, we have a chance to get something worthwhile out of it. I'm not going to use a bomb to look for a secret room, because you never know uh, if we may need bombs to get into the mines ASAP. This is downpour one, so we still got downpour two with the, the knife piece coming. Um, we, we probably should have bought the battery charge and re-rolled. Yeah, in hindsight, I kind of wish I'd done that. But this does give us a chance, I think, to have a, an arcade on this floor, which could be a good way to get money and maybe even uh, a blood bag as well. But for now, feeling pretty good. Little Brim. Uh, Tomo, you can't go up there, dude. This, getting, you, this cat does not understand the English language. Well, I guess we're done with this floor, more or less. Uh... Don't do it, buddy. I see I see the machinations of a cat scorned. And all I can say to you is don't do anything you're going to regret. Little Brim is doing so much work, it's blowing my mind. So we're going to use Guppy's head and then re-roll it. We've used Guppy's head a lot recently. Um, and it's been great. It's been good stuff. But we're just going to accept that we're just getting one Guppy item out of that. And we're going to gain access to the mines. And then we're going to... Uh, go explore the rest of the floor because we got lots of uh, potential value here and this is like the fastest I've ever made it through this section of the game. We're basically completing the third floor at six minutes in and I'm still like real fuzzy if you end up doing an extra floor or not. Um, I should really read the comments regarding this but uh, I'm fuzzy about the floor layout right now if you take the alternate path. Tomo. You know the sound of your owner's voice when he's displeased with your course of action. I'm making that sound right now. I would prefer if you did not jump on the computer, please. Okay, so that's blood bombs. Uh, I mean, I could offer a hypothesis. I like to do that. My expectation would be that blood bombs give you HP when you pop them. Maybe they put red hearts on the ground or have a chance to put red hearts on the ground. Uh, or maybe maybe they're brimstone bombs. If they're brimstone bombs, I gotta know. And we can, you know, the the truth of the matter right now is that we're in such a good position. Even if the item sort of sucks, I can afford to take it. Bloody blast plus HP up. But it did not give us five bombs. Okay, so they're they're just bombs that leave creep. If I had that before and just didn't notice, either way, the HP up is you know cool by me. Uh, it looks like we will not have an arcade. And I think I'm going to make the executive decision to not spend a key to go in here. And just instead head down to the next floor. Save bombs for potential tinted rocks. Save keys for uh, the next floor's item room or whatever. You know, we deem appropriate. And then in here, reroll Satanic Bible again. Little Steven, it's better than nothing. By a very small degree. There is a tinted rock. Genius. Small rock, please. Golden chest. Well, I'm glad we... Saved everything. Let me get Electric Penny. I'm gonna take it. I think we would be stupid not to. Having an occasional confusing tier? Sure, why not? You know, there's there's some value in that. Not much, but some. And, um... The Electric Penny, though, combined with the D6, I think could be amazing. We've already found a Tinted Rock here. It was a complete accident. Okay, don't forget, you got a little Brim. You know, your own shots, nothing to sneeze at, but little Brim is really gonna drive the bus here. That's my creep. Whatever I want to do, it's my creep. It came from my bomb splooge. It's my creep. Oh, by the way, it seems like Bob's brain synergizes with uh, blood bombs, which is something that is actually completely unsurprising, but nice to know nonetheless. I still see you, Tomo. Thank you for choosing an alternate course of action. I think we should take the pill. May yeah, I mean, we haven't had any terrible pills, so why not take the pill? Okay. We know the enemy we fight last is going to get hard countered by uh, 
these Bob's brain, Bob's brain, these Bob's brain creep bombs. So let's try to land them. Yeah, I mean, it, not really the way it was intended, but sure. Brain job. Oh, we have PhD. We should take every pill. Um, or you, know, we should at least look at every pill. I'm gonna peep the item room first, even though the golden chest is tempting. And of these two. I, I was tempted to reroll, I'll admit, but I think Nod Leaf has the potential to be amazing, as we saw like three runs ago when I squandered it and uh, died in a hilarious fashion despite being invincible just because I was impatient. You know that uh, Guns N' Roses song? That, All we need is just a little patience. I really went for it there. I'm not sure if it worked, but I tried. I've been doing my runs at night. Just trying to get the key puzzle right, and I need you. I'm referring to the comments. I need you. Okay. I hate these guys. The knockback on them is just ridiculous. Secret room access. Lucky me. And a bomb and a spirit heart. And okay, a bunch of red hearts. Uh, I don't think we have a chance at getting... An arcade on this floor? I can't believe that dodge sort of worked. Please! I need the creep! I need the creepy bombs! Oh my god, we, we didn't get hit there. Thank you, brain. That was like when you enter that like flow state, like rock band. The notes are coming and they don't stop coming. Bending the rules and they hit the ground coming. Mm, didn't make sense not to keep, uh, keep, uh, don't stop coming. Please, free me from this prison. Another key. Good, but I will use that to open the golden chest back there. Alright, this fucker ruined my dream of getting to the mausoleum last time. And as a result, he will pay dearly for his actions. When you see the reasons for my behavior, you will be ashamed of your words and your deeds. Deal with the devil chance. 78. That seems like... 67 plus a third? No, it's it's less than 67 plus a third. I don't know how you get to that 78 number. It doesn't mean I think it's wrong. I just... I don't know how that number was arrived at. Okay, we're on mines one. We need to get the second piece, obviously. We probably you know, might want to reroll that. Uh, well, we have to take Guppy's Paw. And then I don't think the right play is to is to, like, use all of our HP except for one to get Spirit Hearts and then take Blood Oath. I think the right play is to maybe use it once just to ensure we have enough Spirit Hearts to get to the Mausoleum and then reroll both. And then we get uh, our second Guppy item and Goat Head and uh, Dark Matter, which is quite valuable right now as well. Okay, uh, grab this key and go back for the Golden Chest. Obviously, to be Guppy would be huge. That would be important. Um, and I think it's... Wise, although not necessarily totally genius, to uh, keep our oh god, to keep our uh, HP at a level where we stand a great chance of getting to the the mausoleum, even if we take a little damage on the next floor. What happened there then? Bob's brain proving to be a, a liability in some situations. He's bugged. Yo, he's bugged in there though. They won't let us out. I mean, I see, I see him being bugged. Let me try something else here. No. All right. Let's try this again. If I take damage, I take damage. Again, bugs exist. Shit happens. Life goes on. At least we had bombs to get out of there. Otherwise, we might have actually had to... You know, Alt F4 the run and then continue and just not go in this direction. Using one bomb more than we would like is actually a pretty small cost. Still got an HP upgrade out of it. I don't think we go to the shop yet. I think we use our key to get the donation machine. Or not the uh, donation machine. The golden chest back here. Um, and we still have three and a half spirit hearts. Less than I'd like, but uh, the loss of at least a little of those wasn't really my own fault. Because, you know, the, the, yes, I am going to exploit the bug to, you know make myself feel better about the damage that it took, but still, you get the idea. I mean, it's a little... Come on. 
I should have, if I had just turned behind me and shot for like a quarter of a second, I would have taken him out. Anyway, uh, secret rooms, potentially, worth a shot, maybe. We don't, uh, we do have something to reroll, don't we? Like, what's, what's down in there? It was HP, right? H HP's not bad, but is it exactly what I need right now? No. So if I can get money and turn that into a battery charge via electric penny, that's great. It's the greatest day of my life. Okay, so yeah, reroll this and, and hope for DPS. It would be nice to be at 3 HP, but it's unnecessary. And again, I put Blood Oath in the maybe pile for a reason, so maybe there was a way to get it uh, to work here. I don't know, possibly. We didn't, though. We'll take Speedball. I think that's better than getting our third HP upgrade, and we'll move down here. Still got enough uh, HP to make it into the... Oh, God. Still got enough HP to make it into the, the mausoleum. That was such horrible dodging. Okay, you gotta, you gotta be a little better, actually. Die, please. Thank you. Oh, okay, walked right into that one. Very sensible. I mean, let's not get it twisted, dude. These enemies are tough. Who's the loser now? Oh, careful. Anywhere you see rocks is obviously safe. I, I want to... I mean, I want to go to the curse room. I want to be guppy. I want my name to be spaghetti. But I also want to not uh, fuck up our alternate path for like the third time in a row. Well, now it's fucked up already. So you know what? We're going to go to the curse room. We're going to become guppy. And then we're going to go to Iowa. And then we're going to go to Pennsylvania. And then we're going to go to take back the White House. I've, I really dislike this room. It's just like, by the way, uh, if you're listening, Curse of the Giant, suck on my dick. God, I hate your nonsense. Most of all, I hate the way I don't hate you. Not even a little, not even at all. I believe. I believe in our ability here. Look at this, okay? Dodging's one thing. Do we ever have a reasonable chance to dodge those attacks that started as soon as we walk into the room? Rain shots from the sky in darkness, which we cannot see? I'm gonna just throw out that I think the answer to that question is maybe, you know, have a little human decency here. This is a tough game. I'm doing my darndest. Thank God for that spirit art. Okay, now we can actually see... And I still took damage. So now you can get on my butt. The mines ain't no joke, dude. It makes the cathedral look like a fucking bee drill. Is it, what does that mean? It doesn't matter what your name is. Broken syringe, mystery medicine. I mean, I, I know it's a new trinket. I feel like electric penny is too good to just say no to right now with the D6. And with this run being a little in question right now. Just a little bit in question right now. So what's our, what's our game plan now? Well, never step foot in a dark room if we have the opportunity to avoid it. Yep, blow yourself up at every available opportunity. Never intercept a bomb that's coming your way. Yep, just get yourself trapped in the corner and then uh, just blow up a few times until you die. Is that what we're going to do? We're just going to die? Fudge no. We're going we're gonna to come through in the clutch here. Look at that. Tinted rock that actually probably has a spirit heart. Probably a pretty bad use of a key here, but don't pick up that spirit heart yet. We can probably guarantee ourselves a spirit heart. Well, we have two spirit hearts on the ground now. So if we can just beat this boss, we can gain access to the, uh, to the next area. I'm actually a little concerned about the whole beating the boss part. It seemed really obvious and easy for a while there, but, uh, no, no longer. We can dodge these. We're gonna get a deal with the devil either way. We paid for the goat head, so I'm... You think I'm not gonna get what I fucking paid for? You... You got another thing coming, mister. Can I land a single Bob's brain shot? I mean, it's on me for missing, but... That one missed? It was right up the fucking gullet. 
Uh, we missed again. I am, I am befuddled. Hey, befuddled, I'm dead. No, we can dodge these. Break them. Come get a taste, shitbirds. Actually, using range here has allowed us to be very good. You have to take that. Growth hormones. Right, we can't go in there yet. Uh, uh, okay, maybe watch out a little bit for the fires. We have to check the deal with the devil, even if we're likely to die to a Krampus attack or something. You re-roll these. Ah, fuck. Dark Bomb is good enough, dude. Dark Bomb is good enough. Good enough to party. No, you wouldn't. They did. They did. What did they do? I can't exit. I can't go the alternate path. Look. Bugs happen at the same time. I'm a little, little, little pissed because we had access. We're missing, we're missing an item room as a result of the devil deal changing position. I can't take the devil deal. I probably could go back and get Dark Bomb if we could go out and get some Red Hearts. I guess it's just uh, the way that we're going to approach the situation in the future is... Make sure you're taking a uh, teleport card into every boss room. I'm, I'm actually genuinely not salty. It's a video game. I'll recover. As long as we don't die, like, immediately, I'll feel okay. But that's a bummer. Because we, we super, like, were fine. As much as it might have seemed like times were tough. And they weren't easy. Like, we had the win. Or we, we had the improvements there. And we definitely had the ability to get to the mausoleum. We, that's why I left those spirit hearts back there. And by leaving those spirit hearts back there, I wasn't able to get Dark Bomb. So... You'll forgive me. You'll forgive me, I hope. But now I am a touch salty. <laughs> In the end, okay? We took damage that led to our death. But I'm still disappointed that it took a bug to knock us out. Either way, thanks for watching a little bit of a shorter episode on this one, but... Uh, a little bit of a frustrating one, at least in the way that it ended, but life goes on. If you enjoyed it, click the like button. Helps out a great deal. Um, we might be back with Bethany next time to try to get the alternate path done. For now, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, click the like button. Helps out a great deal. Subscribe if you want to see more in the future. But for now, thanks for watching. And I'll see you next time.